And now we're going to go in and just lay like a foundational color for these chicks. Now these ones right here, I know we're not painting her, but they're barred rock chickens, which are black and white. But if you look at them closer, and especially in this picture, you can see it's not just black and white and gray. There's a little bit of a blue to it, which is why we have Payne's Gray. I love Payne's Gray. I don't know how I painted without it for so long. But I'm just going to go in, do a base layer of Payne's Gray for this one back here. It's Her name's Geraldine, if you're curious about the names of my chickens. And I am going to leave it like where her beak is. I'm not going to go in and do Payne's Gray there, but I'm just going to do a little layer. And also, too, I'm going to do a little layer down here. This one is Henrietta, just to get some of the shadow in there for her. Because there are some shadows, and it's a little easier with yellows to do the shadows underneath and then just build up on it. Now we're going to go back over here. This was Mabel or Gladys, I can't remember. Because she doesn't live here anymore. Gave her to someone else. But she's going to get a base coat with yellow ochre. Now she has a little more... She's got some browns shades in there, but again, we're just doing like a base layer. And my brush is a little wet, so I'm going to squeeze that out. Now for Henrietta here, I am going to take some white and yellow ochre. Maybe a little bit of the cadmium yellow. Just a smidge. And paint her in. Because this is pretty close to the color that she actually is. But we're going to go just all over. Again, still keeping it kind of loose to get that impressionist feel. And see, as you can see, I'm getting the shadows worked in there which is actual excellent, that's what I want. Wipe it off a little bit to get the shadows so they won't be here in the lighter parts. And as you can see, when I'm painting over the lines, it's not, it's not mixing with the paint. That is because acrylic is a quick drying paint, especially in the summer when it's hot and in the winter when it is dry. I don't know about you, but where I live, it gets very dry in the winter. So basically, acrylic just dries quickly all year round. There. All right, we've got our base layers in.